Good morning from Brooklyn, New York. Check this out. Last night when we went to bed, there was no snow, but this morning, look at all of this. So we are in Brooklyn for 48 hours. We came in last night, checked in, and then got some pizza. Went to this spot called Lit Industry. It's a like small, small pizzeria where there's like seating for maybe two people. Um, I had a slice of pizza there that was fig and goat cheese. It was so good. There's fig, goat cheese, basil, bacon. It was just made for me. I love that shit. So like I really, really enjoy that pizza. Then we went to this really cool spot called The Sawdust for a show. It's a really, really small concert venue, but like super cool. Uh, we saw this artist, um, Christian Loeffler, which is more of a melodic techno type of music. It was really cool. It was such an awesome experience. Then we had every intention to go check out some beer bars, but we ended up going somewhere nearby called The Shelter for some shelter from the cold <laughs> um, for some food and Old Fashions by the Fire, which was so much fun. Then called it a night because we've been traveling all day. And today we're heading out to Manhattan for a gallery tour, which I hope to take you on. And then we're gonna check out some breweries back here in Brooklyn after our tour. I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend Allison, who I know through the beer Instagram world. I'm really excited to hang out with her today. Um, we're supposed to meet up at Other Half and then check out a bunch of different breweries. Um, Threes is one of the ones I remember, but she listed a whole bunch of ones to take us to. So I'm going to go inside, finish getting ready. My coffee is no longer warm. Mm. Coffee. The only reason to wake up in the morning, isn't it? I actually can't wait to grab a nice cup of coffee. This is the one that uh, was provided in our tiny, tiny, tiny Airbnb. Um, so I can't wait to get a real nice, delicious cup of coffee and then go explore the city in the snow. All right, I'll see you in a bit. got done with brunch heading to other hat or in the subway and I think someone spilled bleach because it smells so overwhelming. Oh, okay. I'm excited to go check out other hat. This is 
the coolest label ever. Look at all that sparkle. Um, we're getting all hooked up right here. Thank you so much. I'm so excited to try this. Get that is dessert in a cup. Did you say it's so good? Do you like it? So damn good. So I've been stepping on the West Coast IPA to kind of balance up all the nobody, nobody should be allowed to stuff that I've been ever. drinking. So this, as you can see, I've been working on it. It's kind of like my palate cleanser. I need like the hot bitterness to cut through all the sweetness. But this, oh my god, so so good. And the the label is just so fun. <laughs> That's a great intro. Some people don't like chunks. I like chunks. I like chunks in my ice cream too. Yes. So what ice cream spot do we just go to? What was it called? Am um, These are from Ample Hills. It's like a lot of like. It's Brooklyn, if not New York's best ice cream. Mm. They have so many different flavors. They're super unique. They have a lot of chunks a lot of the time. So I you have. I have the have, salted um, caramel crack, salted crack caramel, and that looks like a dark chocolate. It was the it, road. It, it, it came from it came from Gowanus. Uh, Apparently, so Gowanus um, is the yeah. Oh, <laughs> this is the Gowanus souvenir shop. They have all sorts of super weird like. <laughs> I got the ice cream instead. Yeah. So good. And I got the munchies, which is pretzel infused ice cream with little like M and M's and potato chips and stuff. Potato chips? I try that. Like that. Pretzels and stuff like that. I was like, I am so sorry. I'm trying like the tenth different flavor. I can't decide. They're all so good. Mm. And they're fine with it. I love that we're eating ice cream in the middle of winter after drinking all these pastry stouts. <laughs> mm. That's fine. We're gonna counteract it with some hamburgers and beer. Yes. Well, that's how that's how dice work, right? So where are we going next? Threes, Three's right? Brewing. Yes. Threes brewing. Walking from other half. A healthy <laughs> interlude. We're at Threes right now, and Allison is just mesmerized by the descriptions of the beers over here. Look at this one: Threes Tyranny of Mirrors. Cut up melons, very specific. Little peach, pink starburst, soothing dough. I'm obviously getting that. That's <laughs> obvious. <laughs> I've snuck outside to film this part of the video. So we're at Three's Brewery, and I'm drinking the coffee stout something categorization I already forgot um, I haven't been drinking all day have you okay this is a delicious coffee stout but this place is packed I'm just not so used to seeing breweries so so packed maybe because in San Diego we have so many that it's like oversaturated now but here in New York or in Brooklyn especially the past two ones I've been to other half obviously super super popular so it's like super packed and then threes I haven't heard of it until I got here and it's super packed as well there's an outside seating area which is in this tent right here there's like heating lamps in there it's really really cool and then on the inside like it is so packed you can barely walk and I'm outside because Honestly, you probably couldn't hear anything I said, so. I'm also people watching right now. Anyway, ah, what was I saying? Something about the beer being good, yeah. Um, I think this is like the perfect beer to have after the ice cream I just ate. It was delicious. Uh, the snow, it's been melting. The day has been warmer. It's been such an awesome day. I just love how like the beer community has connected me with so many people like I'm in Brooklyn I don't live here and I was like we had a crowd of people hanging out like, all through beer Instagram like seriously because I post beer photos on Instagram I made all these friends and now I'm hanging out with them in Brooklyn drinking beer all right rambling so I'm gonna go back inside and ramble some more with my friends instead <laughs> Getting that new new, it's the stout with new new chocolate, which is a book 
Brooklyn based chocolate company. We are at Strong Milk Brewery. That's Jason the owner. That's Jason the owner right there. That's my finger in between these two. He's so nice. Thank you. After a day of drinking, we obviously needed to get some food, so we took an Uber to Spicy Village, which is a hole-in-the-wall Chinese restaurant in the Lower East Side. We clearly got too much food for four people, but if I were to suggest two things, it would be the spicy big tray of chicken and the pancakes. This place is also BYOB, like we needed more beer, but we still brought some. After dinner, we headed to Sunshine Laundromat and Cleaners for a nightcap. Do you know your walk this afternoon? Are, are we? Oh, wow. Or a multi In a vending machine? Or a Wonder Bible? That's crazy. Where are we going, Allison? Are we doing laundry? Are we going to Sunshine Laundry? <laughs> it is an actual laundromat. And then we yeah, walk into laundry. a bar. <laughs> off the night at this hidden barcade that's tucked behind a laundry mat it was quite fun we played a lot of the arcade games and had another beer and then called in the night unfortunately the next day I woke up with a terrible case of vertigo which is when the whole world seems like it's spinning so I also got to experience a lovely urgent care uh, in Brooklyn which wasn't part of my itinerary but had to spend some time there after I got some medication to put the Symptoms under control. We headed to get some food finally. Williamsburg bagels where I had a delicious bagel lox and then like that wasn't enough We headed to Ivan ramen and that was the 48 hours I spent in Brooklyn checking out some breweries and eating good food and getting some vertigo so I can spend some time in the urgent care And I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'll see you in the next one